This is part 10 of ASP.NET Chart Control tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss sorting ASP.NET Chart Control using sort method. This is continuation to part 9, so please watch part 9 before proceeding. To use sort method to sort the ASP.NET Chart Control, there are two steps. The first step is to modify the HTML in webform1.aspx as shown here. Notice the two lines that are highlighted in yellow. When we select student name from this sort by drop-down list, we want to sort this chart data using the axis labels that we can see at the bottom of the chart. And when we select total marks, we want to sort by Y values. So in order to support this, we are going to change the value attribute of both of these list item objects of this DDL sort by drop-down list. For the first list item object, we are setting the value attribute to access label and for the second list item object, we are setting it to Y. In a bit, we'll see how we are going to make use of this value attribute. Now first, let's go ahead and make this change. Let's flip to Visual Studio. This is the same example that we worked with in the previous video session. So for this DDL sort by drop-down list, we are going to change the value attribute of the first list item object to access label. And for the second list item, we are going to change it to Y. And the next step is to actually change get chart data method within the code behind file. First of all, we don't require this parameter for this function, so let's get rid of that. And we don't require this data view as well, so let's get rid of these two lines. And then we are going to set this data set as the data source for the chart control. And then we call the data bind method. And here we are going to write our sorting logic. Now our sorting logic will be based on these two drop-down lists that is sort by and sort direction. So if DDL sort direction drop down list, so that's the drop down list where the user will tell whether they want to sort the data in ascending or descending order. And if you look at the drop down list on the web form, notice the value of this ascending list item is set to ASC. So if DDL sort direction dot selected value equals ascending, then what we want to do is sort the chart data in ascending order depending on what field is selected in sort by drop-down list. Now, if you look at the chart control, the chart control actually contains a series with name series 1. And when we say we are sorting the chart control, we are actually sorting the data points of this series 1. So within the code behind file, chart 1 dot series of series 1 dot sort. So we are going to use the sort method. And we are going to use this overloaded version where we specify the point sort order. That is whether we want to sort the chart in ascending or descending order and by which field we want to sort. So point sort order is going to be ascending because that's what the user has selected within the drop-down list. And then the next parameter is by which field do we want to sort. That depends on which item the user has selected within DDL sort by drop-down list. If he has selected student name, then we want to sort by access label. If he has selected total marks, then we want to sort by Y values. So here we are simply going to say DDL sort by dot selected value. Else, if the selected value from DDL sort direction drop-down list, if it's not ascending, then you know the user wants the data to be sorted in descending order, in which case we will change this to descending. And at the moment we have compilation errors. That's basically because this get chart data method doesn't expect any parameters. So let's go ahead and get rid of these arguments that we are passing to that method within the page load event and within these two selected index changed event handler methods. So with these changes, let's go ahead and run the project. So student name is selected. Let's select descending. And notice that the chart control data is sorted by student name, that is the access labels in descending order. And when we select ascending, look at that. The data is sorted in ascending order by access label. Let's select total marks. 
look at that the data is now sorted by y values and let's select descending so again by y values in descending order now if you notice here we are first getting a reference to series uh, you know series one and then we are using the sort method this is one way the other way is instead of you know getting a reference to series one and then using the sort method you can let's actually comment this line we can also use data manipulator property of the chart control and this data manipulator property has got sort method now when we use data manipulator property then to the sort method along with specifying you know the sort order and by which field we want to sort that is whether by axis label or y values we also need to tell which data series data points we want to sort so we have to specify the series name as well because a chart can typically contain multiple series as well in our example we just have one series but there could be multiple series so let's go ahead and specify the series name the series name is series 1 and let's do the same thing here as well so here we want to sort in descending order so let's run this and it should work in the same manner as before. Thank you for listening and have a great day.